I, I'm saying, I'm saying from my point of view, 99% of fighters don't come back from them type of injuries. 99% of fighters don't come back, and I come back. Um, I was, I was fighting within a year of the, within, within a year of the accident. I, I was, I was back, on, back, in, back in the cage, uh, doing a camp. Download the All Star app. Make your picks for UFC fights. Challenge your friends. Level up and win prizes. Link in description. Get it now. All right, Lorone. Um, man, it's been a while, but uh, just catching up on you know some news for you. I see that you sound, signed your uh, third multi-fight deal with the UFC. Congratulations. Yeah. And uh, any details that you can share with us about that? It's just a, it's, obviously, it's more money. Um, four, another four fights, uh, hopefully. Hopefully, after this one, with a win here, we, we, we start fighting these top 15 guys. Um, that's so I've been told. So I'm looking forward to that, man. But I've got a big test ahead of me. Um and you need to get through that one first, did it? Definitely, man. Definitely. Always good to get more money. You know, you deserve all the money in the world. You know how it is. Um, sure. Back to back fights in London. What is it like, man? The atmosphere. You know, fighting in front of that UK uh, UK fan base. Do you know what? It's different, man. It's nice. It's, that's the first time I've done it for the UFC, and it was different. I loved it, man. And um, obviously, fighting further up the card. This time will be an even better experience. I feel like the venue will be more full around that time too. Um, even though the Rocky card is a big card and the, the, the arena was rocky, but I fought pretty early on that, that fight. So um, I'm hoping, I'm hoping for a full crowd. Definitely, definitely, man. And you know, you're a guy that's rising up the ranks right now. And you know, you see, you know, Leon Edwards main eventing. Do you ever sit back and, and visualize yourself? Headlining a show in that O2 arena, that's like an iconic spot. Of course, man, that's got to be the goal, isn't it? That's got to be the yeah. goal. You've got to set yourself goals in this game. Um, there's loads of goals I've got. I, I, want, I want to fight for the title. I want, I want a main event um, in my home city. I want a main event in Manchester, not not the O2, but O2 would be nice anyway. But um, yeah, man, I've got, I've got a lot of dreams. I was training with, I was training with Leon just this past week, doing a, bit, doing a few rounds of sparring and stuff. The level is high, man, but it's always something to aim for, isn't it? July 22nd, man, Josh Kulabel. I, I look at you and him, and I see both of you guys on the, kind of the same trajectory, right? You guys are both unbeaten in the division. Um, do you feel like with the guys that are at the top, they're kind of older? You know, you guys are the new wave. You know, by the time they get done, you guys will be up there? I don't know. I'm not that, I'm not that young myself, to be honest. I'm young in the game. <clears throat> I've only been doing MMA for, for what, nine years now, uh, from scratch, so I'm young in the game, but <clears throat> I'm 31 years old now, so I feel like I'm starting to hit my prime, but um, I yeah, I, I feel like, like you said, there's a new wave of guys coming through, I was watching the UFC the past weekends, there's been some good featherweight coming up, and I feel like, yeah, there's going to be a new, a, new uh, a lot of new names in that top 10 coming the next year or so. Without a doubt, and Josh Kulabau, man, what are your thoughts on him and, and the fighting style? He's slick, man. He's slick, good boxing. Um, he's got a similar style to myself with with his distancing and whatnot. His feints, um, not going to give too much away, but yeah, he's, he's a similar fight to myself. It's going to be a fun fight. It's going to be a chess a chess match, I believe, um, and it's going to be whoever's whoever makes the right decisions. But I'm ready, man. I've, I've never felt better than this. I feel I feel ready. Um, my last fight was a good fight to, to get the ring rust off and whatnot, and I feel like I'm in a much better place mentally, physically, um, and it's time. It's my time, man. It's my time to go and put on a show and, and, and let the world know. Before we get into the last fight, you know, I wanted to ask you about, uh, you know, after the last fight, you know, you called for Nathaniel Wood. He's going to be fighting on the same night. I yeah. was just wondering, why did they book that fight for July 22nd? I'm not sure, you know. I'm not sure. I, I don't, I'm not sure. I can't. I can't even see. I can't see the the thinking behind it, to be honest. But um, I feel like maybe the one the one is both to the want two prospects to get into the top fifteen, maybe for for a, a fight later on next year, um, which could well be the co main event, whatever. Um, I feel I feel like they're just building smart rather than let let two of the English prospects fight each other. Um, at this point, and then 
somebody's got to lose. Do you know what I'm saying? But I'm not sure, man. That's just that's just me. But I I, I would have liked that fight. But the Josh Cullabal fight's just as big, if not bigger. And I like the way you're thinking, man. Both of you guys win. You know, later on down the line, you guys do like a co-main event, or maybe even a main event on a fight night. Who knows, man? You never know what happens in the in the future. Yeah. Um, Gabriel Santos, man, the split decision win. You know, I know it was on short notice, the, the opponent change. You know, you had that road accident. There was a lot of other stuff going on. Personally, could that have been the biggest win of your career under the circumstances? I'd say under the circumstances, definitely, because I, I'm saying, I'm saying from my point of view, 99% of fighters don't come back from them type of injuries. 99% of fighters don't come back, and I come back. Um... I was I was fighting within a year of the within within a year of the accident. I, I was I was back on back in back in the cage, uh, done a camp, and I feel like even the whole camp. I've said it to my coach. The whole camp was around me getting to that fight healthy. It wasn't around pushing me pushing myself to the limits. It wasn't it wasn't about um, getting the correct rounds in. It wasn't about anything but getting to the fight healthy, and. Um, I feel like that played a big part. I was in Thailand. I was, I was sparring guys. I was telling guys to go light and stuff. That's not me. I love to. Do you know what I'm saying? I love to. I love to have a have a scrap and and, and um, go into deep waters. I'm telling guys, oh, go light, whatever, because I just wanted to make the fight. And I feel like that just played a big part mentally. How I, I, I didn't. I wasn't in the same mindset in the fight. It was just like, oh, I'm here now. Do you get what I'm saying? Even a walkout. I got in the cage. Just was like happy to be there. It wasn't. I've got a job to do. I've got to kill this other guy. It wasn't. That's that's normally the mindset I'm in. Um, but I feel like I'm back there now. I'm back in that. I'm back in that mean mindset. Um, I've trained hard and I feel good, man. How healthy were you entering that fight? <clears throat> I was healthy. I was healthy. I was healthy. I've got no. I had no. There's no excuses in it. The, the kid was good on the night. He was better than I thought he was going to be. Um, and the switch between the. The opponents, obviously, Nathaniel would be in a, a short uh, boxer type of style, orthodox, to get him put with a southpaw kicker, uh, jiu-jitsu, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just all, it's just all a, bit, a bit different, but I feel like at this level, you've got to be ready for them to chops and changes. You know, are you, are you the type to overanalyze your own performances? Yeah, of course, of course. I've, <laughs> mate, I've... I was, I was sad for about a month after that fight. I was just thinking, nah, that was too close, too close for comfort. Like, I feel like I should have should have got that kid out of there. Um, the best, the best, not even the best me, but me, I feel like if I was at my best, I would have got that kid out of there. It, it was very good, but I feel like I should have got that kid out of there. You being so hard on yourself, it, it trans translates to, you know, training. Like, you train harder because of that, because you overanalyze. Yeah, um, for me, it's not been about it's not been about the training hard. As you know, you've done a bit now. You, you know the sport a bit more because you've, you've you've done it yourself. And for me, it's like I watch my pad pad work back. I watch my sparring back, and I pick little I pick little things where where I'm not doing too great, and and I'll go I'll go and work on them things. And I feel like that's what's made me grow over the years. Like I said before, I've not been in this sport very long, and I'm, I'm at an elite level. Do you get what I'm saying? I think I'm like 16 in the world right now. Win, win, win! Um, on July twenty second, I'm top fifteen in the world. That's elite of the elite. Do you get what I'm saying? And that's because of that that reason there. Uh, Over analyze everything. Yeah, yeah, and you know you you've been defying the odds for for a long time, man. It just seems like anything that they put in front of you is just like, all right, I'll I'll handle that. <laughs> Let me push forward. You know what I mean? It's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's me. That's me, and that's what. That's why I, I've, I've always said, like, I feel like I'm as good as my opponent. Almost sometimes, I feel like if you you could give me a debutant, you could give me someone that I might I might not perform the way I do. You might you might go and give me the champ, and I'll, I'll I'll step the level up. Do you get what I'm saying? I'm a competitor, and um, I rise to the occasion, and it. For sure, I saw you. You got your purple belt recently, man. Is that something that you've been yeah. focusing on more of? Just getting more jiu-jitsu in or is it just something mm. that happened uh yeah a bit of both really i've, I've definitely been doing more jiu-jitsu um i've probably doubled my jiu-jitsu sessions um in in the past year or so um trying to trying to catch up to them them guys man because when you go with top level guys even grappled with rocky i know he's a bit big a lot bigger than me 
but the the level of grappling is just like and that's that's the difference between the the guys in my position outside of the top 15 and then the guys in the top 15 all them guys can can grapple to a really high level have you been going to Ren- they, that's renegade right that's where he Ren- trains have you been going there often lately i've not I've, that was the first time i've i've went in in a few years i went i went just before the pandemic um when i was supposed to fight in london and then that was the first time i went but i, I sparred I sparred jai herbert as well he's fighting on the same card um lightweight high level very high level i feel like he'll do he's gonna do well Spied a few of them guys, man. It was good to just get a, a different look. Do you know what I'm saying? Different look, mm. some over, over high level bodies, and then bigger guys as well. Are you gonna go there a couple more times before the fight? I'll probably do one more there. Yeah, um, I'll probably do. I might do this week, and then I'll keep it all at home, keep it safe. Last two weeks, tick over, yeah. uh, get to the fight healthy, man. For sure. And Manchester top team, you're home. Who are the who are the people yeah. that have been grinding with you, man? Getting you ready for Josh Kulabal? Oh, I've got mate. We've got we've got guys in our gym that the world's gonna know about soon. I've been my main training partner for this camp. He's been a guy called Callum Connor, um, a young a, a young kid. I think he's about maybe twenty three or something. Twenty three, twenty four. Thinks like two, three, and old pro, but he's he's striking his next level, man. And I feel like he. He's gonna be one of the guys that'll go all the way as well. Um, Jordan Barton. I've got made this too, too many too many names in the gym. Our, our gym's coming up now, so um, I, I can't wait to see them guys get to the top level too. Yeah, yeah, man. There's a lot of lot of prospects out there at your gym. You know, what are you expecting out of yourself in this performance, man? This is a big one. This is the one where you win, you shoot up and and fight somebody ranked. You know, I talked to Josh. He feels the same way. He's got a lot of respect for you. He understands mm. the matchup. He knows it's exciting. He knows you guys have a lot of similarities. He said the same exact things you said to me. Mm. Yeah, man. Yeah, this is this is the biggest fight in my career. Again, every, it's like every fight like you get to is the biggest fight in your career. But this is well and truly is because not only do I have to win, I've got to put on a performance as well. I've got to show that I'm top fifteen worthy, even to myself. Like I feel like I've not. I've not performed to my best ability yet and everyone says it everyone says it but being in the gym and fighting is two total different things you know what I'm saying and I feel like I've got to transfer transfer that and I feel like it's just mindset though it's just all mindset and and I feel like I've got a good dance partner for that he's going to bring it he's going to be he's going to be up for the fight he's going to bring it he's he's technically good too and he's not just going to be holding on to my shorts for the whole fight no. you know what I'm saying but <laughs> It's going to be a good scrap, man. It's going to be a good scrap. And I feel like fight of the night or performance of the night is coming my way. I think it's the best matchup. Like, skill for skill, it's the best matchup on the card. Like, if you look at it up and down. 100%. 100%. <clears throat> We're both... But when two um, rising prospects are fight each other, it's always the best fight. Like, other guys are getting matched with guys that are gatekeepers. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, mm. just, just just randomers. On, but that's the best fight on the card for me. You've been fighting in London. This is your second straight fight in London, you know, in the UK. It's uh, it's it's comfortable, right? It's good that, that the UFC loves going to the UK, right? It's good, you know. Definitely. Def- Do you know what? It's definitely more convenient in terms of I I only go I have to go a few hours down the road. I can get get a train. That's two hours. I can drive. Maybe takes three three hours, three and a half hours. Um, I don't have to fly out, but I do. I did enjoy Abu Dhabi. I'm not gonna lie. I do enjoy Abu Dhabi. I do, I do enjoy getting getting out a week early, chilling in the hotel, the weather, whatnot. It, it is nice, man. But I feel like. Get this London one out of the way, and I want to explore America. I've not fought, I've not fought in the states yet. I want to, yeah. I want to experience that. Yeah, they got to get you in, in I've been Vegas or. Times. Yeah, I've been booked there three times, and all three have been cancelled. Yeah, and the, you know Vegas, NYC, Madison Square Garden. Mm-hmm. You know those are some spots. This is what I'm saying. It's just an experience, man, and that's what life's for, in it? Like, different experiences. Don't want to fight in London every every time. Um, but I'm not complaining, but don't want to be fighting in London twice a year um, when there's other places, places like Singapore that I've not experienced, Brazil, all these places. That these are these are ones, things I want to um, tick off the bucket list. Definitely, man. July 22nd, UFC Fight Night in London. Lerone, thank you, man, so much for the time. All the best in the fight. Like I said earlier, this is the best matchup on the card. 
You're not going to get anything better. Fireworks all day, every day. Thank you, man. Who are you picking? <laughs> hey, both you guys. Both <laughs> you guys are my guys. You know what I mean? Like, I've known you guys. Yeah, oh no, man. No, oh, no. It's just going to be made the best man winning it. The best man on the night yeah. will win in it. Simple as that. It's competition, man. Like, I respect him. He's a good fighter. Um, I respect him. And I'm going to give my best. He's going to give his best. And whatever happens, happens, innit? it?